Hello folks and welcome back to the Ready Go Tea Party and let's play Epic Manager. Today's episode is brought to you by Gage. Thank you very much Gage for your continued support on Patreon. I very much appreciate it. So we are continuing. Our current goal right now is to get about 22 to 23,000 gold because I want a good buffer when we upgrade the guild because uh, I really want that extra party uh, and I really want it before the next uh, the next league. So let's go ahead. So in that, with that in mind, let's look for quests. Oh, a level four quest. That's our first level four. That could be a little bit rough. It's not even that much money. It's a lot of experience. I would, I'm definitely, if I pick up a level four quest, I'm gonna scout it first. Uh, that's too high to not scout first. So we got a quest over here. So again, we are taking note of where the quests are popping up the most, so I can make start making portals in that direction. Then we still got this quest like way the hell over here that I've never bothered to do. It's only two away. I kind of thinking, wait, where's the other one? We had one here that's level four, that one, which is a little too far away, and this one. See, that's a little, I mean, so let's do this. Let's, let's have a goal instead of just randomly placing things. Let's, as best as we can, make it so that there is no more than two movement spots between camp, between camps, or portals rather, right? So no more than, than two. Two is fine. Three is not. So basically, I want as many squares as possible to be a gettable, get toable in two turns. So, with that in mind, that actually would not, this would actually be too close because these are both obtainable in one. Let's go ahead and prospect again. Ooh, those level four quests. Scary, scary. This one is two away. Obviously, the closer we can get these, the better. This one is... Damn, that one's like three away. Man, there is like no good ones this time around. The level four one is scary. What level are you guys now? Eight, 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 eight. Let's grab this quest, but I'm going to scout it next time. Cause again, I'm not, I'm not just going to grab that quest. That would be madness. All right, let's go. We'll go ahead and add these quests. There's a fairly good chance we're going to drop them. This quest is, well, it's only two away. I guess I could do that one as well. This one is one, two, no, this one's not close to anything. That one might be a story quest though. If so, yeah, I think it'll pop back up. There's not, well, we'll go ahead and grab this one too, I suppose. And we'll in turn. Oh, uh, you guys go ahead and move back. Okay, that way you're ready to port. Uh, you guys rest even though you don't need to. I guess they could start moving. Now we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. As the party goes through the village, they notice a group of peasants trying to lift a caravan missing a wheel. They seem to be having a hard time. We can have the party try and help. We can leave the villagers to deal with the problems. You've got other things to do. Ask the villagers for money and help, money to help, or have the monk try it. Uh, 60% chance. Sure, why not? Of course. The RNG is not in our favor today. Weapon expertise, 15% uh, damage penalty to physical attacks. Great. The monk approaches the caravan with a look of determination. He slides his hand on the ground to cover them in sand before grabbing on tightly to the caravan. As he lifts the caravan, a small cracking sound is heard and the monk falls to the floor in agony. He seems to have sprained both of his wrists. Well, good thing it was in his back. Gonna guess chiropractors in this world 
Not a lot of experience, not a lot of trustworthiness there. How far are we ahead? I don't want to lose track of this and have them catch up out of nowhere. We're at like almost 6k and they're not even at 3, so not overly concerned. So let's go ahead and... I'm curious, I want to scout this quest. Level 14 Jotun and an 8 mage. Yeah, I definitely want my better, better party. So you guys are going to rest. And you guys are going to go there next turn. Let's prospect. We can go here. Level 2. Eh, I'd rather get a higher level quest. If possible. That is... 2 away. Or... Wait. Uh, no, that's 1 away. That's 1 away. So actually, they can come down here and take that one. How's our factions looking? Oh wow, Hildrick is actually- Oh nice, they're giving us 100 gold every week. So if we could find- are any of these Evan Ironmark? We need to keep an eye out for those. What's his mark? The Green Crown. I'm gonna guess not. But, I'd like to get him uh, giving us money too. I was looking at the wrong symbol. That's why I'm clicking on those again. Well, unfortunately not. Alright. So let's go ahead and grab this one. Don't see any others that I want to get. Another quest over here I have noted. So there's a quest there and there. Alright. So you guys, go ahead and go up here. Wait, did you... Oh, okay. I couldn't see the line. I'm like, I'm clicking it, but it's not going. Alright, so those guys are resting. Damn it! When trekking through the wilderness on the way to their next job, the adventurers come across a steep rock wall. Wedge into the wall about 10 feet from the ground is what appears to be a weapon. Had the monk use his trained body to climb the wall without fear of falling. The monk steps forward and climbs the wall skillfully, finding all the right nooks to hold on to. He eventually makes it to the weapon and pulls it out, pulls on it with strength. The weapon, weapon unhinges itself from the rock, and the monk lets it fall to the ground before climbing to safety. Got a witch doctor. Ooh, AP regen and electrical damage. Nice. Do you don't have a witch doctor? I kind of want one though. Every party should have a witch doctor. Forgot to grab it again. Forgot to grab it again. My god, how many hours are we into this? And like, I'm still struggling to remember? Yeah, I'm saving. Yeah, I'm saving, shut up. Uh, uh, so frustrating. It's more frustrating not from losing the quest, just because a what the fuck are you serious kind of perspective. Like, seriously, you did it again? Got lost in the game? Oh, baby, baby. All right, I'm thinking I'm going to start having this. These guys. Start heading this way to get another portal because we're getting a semi OK amount of quests from this area. Uh, I don't really see any others that are standing out that are close to anything that matters. So let's... We got those guys are neutral. Let's bring them up to friendly. Oh no, we don't want to do anything with them. Okay. All right. Oh, I could have ported up there. I didn't realize the order operations there. So I could actually port to a town that I have a portal at, duh. And if I have wounds, I'll actually... Ah, okay, that's cool. All right. Oof, this is going to be interesting. We're definitely not auto-combating this one. All right, he's only got 990 hit points. That's not too bad. Man, even with 10%... Was it quite enough? 
Let's buff. And we are going to stun this guy. Because I do not want him beating the shit out of us. Go ahead and sing the song of your druidish, peop druidish people. Uh, we're not going to do anything with him because I want him to be able to heal. Um, You know what? Let's kill this mage. I want this to be a one-on-one -on -one fight. We're going to pass. So we've got more ready to go. Get the buff. How much damage? It's all damage plus... Oh, well, what, wait, which one's the Bard Song? 30. So, oh, this one's 45%. Nice. How many skill points is this? Six? Eh, I don't want to leave with one because I'm not sure how many he regens. I feel like there's a way to see. But we'll, we'll save it just in case because he stunned this round, so I gave us a little bit of a buffer anyway. Burn this some bitch. Nice. We're not going to bother meleeing him with a 75% physical resist. Let's go ahead and use our fire arrows. Nice. All right. Well, that one actually turned out to be pretty easy. God knows how much damage that guy would have done. I'd rather just not ever know. You barbarians! The spell you seek isn't in the Arcanum's books, says the Magi with his last breath. The Magi and their strict rules must not possess the knowledge necessary for what we seek to do. We might have to find an Awaken for this type of spell, but they are often hard to find. Rare Bronze Ring? That's a... Uh, oh, it's an accessory, so it's anybody. Combat 11%, all damage 4%, critical hit 8%. Holy shit. That's really nice. I need to get that on somebody ASAP. Oh man, three stun scrolls. Awesome. Arcane weakness. Awesome. That was a good run. Wow, that was that worked out very well for us. So we can either reduce the AP cost, target 50% to all damage for two turns. This guy's not gonna be using a lot of AP period because he's mostly gonna be buffing. So I'd rather get 15% extra damage. Especially because it stacks, and if we pick it again, we can get up to 30% extra damage. As the party's on the road to their destination, they're ambushed. Oh no. Oh shit. Wow, this is a lot of enemies. This could get tricky. Please stun a bunch of them. Only stun two. Well, our luck did not work out too well that time. Who has AEs? You've got the chaos thing. You are going to use this potion. Isn't there like an item that, oh, books stuns all enemies for one turn. They don't have many hit points. So what I want to do, we're going to give this uh, AP potion to him because I want him to use that uh, fire thing more than once. God fucking damn it. Don't attack him, you pieces of shit. This guy hasn't acted yet, right? I don't think so. God fucking damn it. Stop attacking the one guy, you prickin' bastard assholes. Somehow he didn't get, uh, somehow he didn't get, uh, whatever you call it. Uh, injured. Wounded. All right. Uh, should I use this? I need the fire damage. How much is it doing? 137? Is that all? Seriously? Uh, we're going to have to risk it. Oh god, that's not, not good. 
Oh god. Really? God, that takes a shitload. I was hoping to be able to get him to do it twice. Well, that's a bitch. Go ahead and heal. Use that potion. A bit of a waste, but... We need more, uh... Magic potions. Alright. Electric Caltrops. Nice. I don't think any of them crit. Uh, you are going to heal, for sure. You know what I should have done? I should have done Blood Offering before I healed. Herpaderp. Five nineteen. God damn! Five nineteen on Arcane Sword. Jesus Christ, that's crazy good. All right, so this guy is not going to quite die. Let's just finish off some of these guys we know we can kill. Bring their numbers down. We've got to get this guy's arcane up. Who is this? Famedes. Famedes, he's our what? Warlock. More like, I don't know what the other class is. Uh, oh, let's just blow this guy up. Oof, that could have went a lot worse. That could have went a lot worse. Yeah, I was gonna say, they better have all leveled up. After the bloody battle, your party picks up the spoils and moves on. Yeah, those random, uh, random encounters, sometimes they're worse than the damn quests. Smuggler is what he is. The damage is so bad, but man, the AP cost is in, is nuts too. Yeah, let's get the damage up. The damage is just abysmal. And he's got 910 Arcana. How is that possible? Why is it so bad? I kind of want to drop the AP cut. No, fuck it. He's got to get the damage. Cash gain 25 damage to fire, which he doesn't do. Less hit points lost. I'll take that all day. Now, granted, this guy does get another level, so he could eventually get fire, so... But anyway. Uh, we did... Cash gain 50% to all resist for two turns. 25% chance to stun the target. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, let's do that. Add 5% bonus to Adventure's Physical Damage, 5% bonus to Adventure's Ice Resistance. Well, he's not going to be doing much physical damage, so a little Ice Resist... Not a bad idea. Alright, it's amazing neither one of these parties got wounded here recently. Because they've been taking some serious damage. It's a level 4. Do we risk it again? How much money is that? Whoa, 6200. I really need to free up a staff member so that I can put somebody in um, over here. Sorry, I had to drink. So I'm wondering if I should just drop this guy back down to 5% initiative. Because as you saw there, we still got outrun by the rats. Though we got ambushed by the rats, that might be why. So let's just leave that for now. Uh, so number two, you guys are going to head this way. Well, we actually don't even have a portal ready to go. Well, I said we were going to recycle one of these. Let's portal you guys' asses down here. And move you to, like... Let's move you here, just for now. Alright, so Team 1's going to have to start busting it. Making my, making my ass some money. You guys move here. Uh, I guess I could actually prospect. Wait, didn't we get a uh, sweet monk item? Oh, we got a uh, an accessory. That's what it was. I can't remember what it was though. Here it is: combat eleven, all damage four, crit hit eight percent. You know, I'm curious about something. Where'd you go? 
Is it this guy who's got the terrible damage? It's this guy, Famides. I need to rename these guys so I can actually remember. Combat 10%? He's already got combat 10%. His stats are good, but I don't get why his fire damage is so abysmal. Anyway, um... Who should we give this to? Who's already got a high cut? Who actually melees? Not really anybody right now. Almost nobody actually melees. And all of the uh, spells are caster damage. Arcana. There is one arrow ability that's physical, but I don't think I have any of that class. Yeah, that's ice. Arcane. There doesn't seem to be a lot of arcane damage in this game. It's mostly like fire and ice and electric. Yeah, nobody to really give it to. See, his volley fire is doing... Oh, well, now that I buffed it, too. You know, let's try something. 263. 257. <laughs> Six extra damage. Wow. Eh, we'll let him use it for now. There's one person. Yeah, okay. It's like I knew somebody didn't have something. Fire resist, that's fine. It's not the best, but man, it's such like it's such a, a like a chore for me to keep up with all the gear. Just again, because my memory's so bad, it's hard for me to keep up. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and just prospect for quests. We're probably gonna do it twice. That's kind of far. Actually, these guys are on their way there. So go ahead and add this one. one is actually it's only two away there's a level four I saw let's go ahead and grab that well actually we're gonna drop this one and level four quest add you and you're still gonna head down here, though. That quest has been there so long, it's just driving me nuts. I just wanna finish it. I'm tired of seeing it sitting there. Random encounter. As the party's on the road, they're ambushed. Man, these guys are bad about getting ambushed. Ugh, bunch of eights, level eights again. All right, so he's the only one that's went. Fire arrows. Two assholes dodged, but luckily two of them got caught on fire. Let's go in blood magic. Uh, that sh should kill for yeah, that'll kill him. Oh, nice. Increase the damage. Let them dots get some work in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just melee. 116, that's not great. <laughs> now, see, here the initiative is great because we went way before these guys and we've done some serious damage. This guy's going to die. I uh, was hoping maybe we can get one more to die. Ooh, this guy will die. So he took out three of a five enemy party before they could even attack us, thanks to initiative. So. God damn. Some of these spells just do such crazy ass damage. Bitch. Motherfucker. That should kill him. Thank you. 
Oh, I think he's got a debuff. Oh, he's taking penalty to damage. Little bitch. Aha! How do you like them apples? Damage penalty my ass. After the bloody battle, your party picks up the spoils. Nice. The one nice thing about these random encounters is because they're so high, we get a lot of experience. Uh, let's see. Uncommon, critical hit 5, physical resistance 5, electrical resist 5, dodge 7, and some darts. I should start using darts more on the on the party members who don't really attack much, but have a lot of AP. 5% bonus to fire damage, 5% bonus to el electric. Uh, we'll fire, since he does fire. Yeah, next level. For a lot of these guys, they'll be triple classing. Uh, see, five percent blah blah blah. Add five percent bonus to the adventurous hit points. Well, yes, make him even beefier. Add five percent bonus to the adventurous ice resist, or five percent bonus to ice damage. Well, you don't do ice damage. Uh, he needs another epicness level. Shit, I gotta start looking for one of those stars. Maybe we'll get lucky again. I'm not counting on that though. AP cost, skill effect. How much does it do now? Uh, 25 to all resist. Oh wow, this brings it to 50? Uh, yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that every day of the week. That's why I'm focusing so much on AP regen, is because I want to put all my points mostly into making my spells more potent. That way if I have more AP regen, it kind of cancels out the need to lower the cost, right? That's kind of my thought process there. All right, you guys are going over there. We don't really need to prospect for quests. These guys are all fine with me. So let's go ahead. I almost want to do recruitment, but we're so far away from being able to buy that next license, it's I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Let's go look for merchants. Just for grins. Apothecary. Ooh, nice book. And it's 200 initiative debuff to all enemies. Wow. It's the other book, 50 ice resist debuff. Uh, heals all target for 400. Man, that's nice, but holy balls is it expensive. 1800 So is there anything in here we really want to sell? Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Those physical... Uh, re ...debuff things. We're only going to sell the apothecary stuff. Electrical resist? Yeah, get rid of that. Mushroom I'll keep. Arcane resist debuff, nah. Electrical resist debuff, nah. Eh, no, it's a deep initiative debuff. Stun, definitely keep that. I think that's everything I want to sell. That's the other good thing about checking the merchants. I can sell and make some money. All right. Probably should have done weapons, because I'm not really actually sure what to sell here. I like it kind of quick. Dodge chance, it's actually not too bad. I think that's some of the stuff we just got. Initiative 8, dodge chance. Arcana 11. Yeah, none of those are really awful. So I guess we'll stick with that. And the turn. Hopefully we can start making some money now. Investigating the cultists. Information gathered on the cultists in the village has led to an abandoned ruins in the nearby Barrenlands. Visiting the ruins will undoubtedly uncover new information on the cultist threats. I should have left one to scout this quest, but it doesn't really matter. But level nine, that's is actually not that much different than the encounter we just did. So first things first, let's get some debuff. Even though these guys like cast, I think. Alpha Rat and Pyro Rat. So that might not have been very useful. Um, I kind of want to stun all the enemies. I 
Actually, you know what? Let's give uh this guy this get let's give that guy the fire damage buff. I'm hoping the bard goes next. Okay, good. So I wanted to make sure to get healing. What? He took wounds from that? Really? Well, I guess it was like half his health. I'm gonna have to skip around on healing. Which is a bit of a bummer, but... Let's go ahead and attack once. 172. Which guy is this? This guy? Ah. Jesus Christ. So now we're going to apparently have to start really watching out for that. Are oh, you fucking kidding me? We have no healing potions. Shit, if I'd have realized that, I would have went ahead and bought that. We're just going to have to wait. Who's next? God damn, the healer's initiative sucks ass. <sighs> We're going to have to heal him. You know what? Fuck it. I don't want anybody to die. Stun these pieces of shit. Don't fucking dodge me again, you pricks. Well, they're stunned, so they shouldn't. How much damage is this? 912. What? He's fucking stunned! How in the fuck are you gonna dodge when you're stunned? That's ridiculous. That's some bullshit. You should not be able to dodge while you're stunned. That's asinine. Ah, oh, god damn it. I thought that healed immediately. Fucking god damn it. Well, luckily he was next. That's not a hell of a lot of healing. 486? God damn it. Of course you don't bleed him. Whoa! What the fuck? Wow. That was a bit, uh, absurd. Alright, we gotta kill these pieces of shit. They'll all heal coming up. Motherfucking goddammit, stop fucking dodging. Pieces of shit. This guy needs to fucking die. God fucking damn it. This guy, this piece of shit needs to die. Fucking bastard. Fuck you, pieces of shit. Jesus Christ! What?! Alright, we might be reloading. That's some fucking bullshit. Like, that one spell is insane! That is fucking ludicrous! They've really gotta work on the balance, man. Because that is like the same problem I had with charge enemies before, that they, they nerfed the damage on them because they did like... They could take you from full to dead like with one shot, or damn close. That's insane that they did that much damage. There's like no defense against that! We might be reloading. That's bullshit. Let's explore around the statue. I don't- it doesn't matter because I'm probably gonna reload. That was bullshit. Let's save in a new slot. Actually, I don't think we even need to. Because when we reload this game, it'll restart at this turn. That was horseshit! Wow! I mean, to be fair, this game is still early access. 
But like, that's why I'm like, that's definitely one of the things they have got to work on. Because you just like run into these spell, like these abilities that wipe you out. Like just the one spell completely obliterates you and there's like no defense against it. That was over here. Wait, how far back did it push me? I gotta start saving every turn since we're starting to see a little bit more horse shit popping up like that. That was fucking total bullshit. Ah, uh, we gotta do this. Let me redo all this. I'll tell you what. I don't wanna... Hmm. Tell you what. I wanna catch back up to where we were and I'll pick you guys up then. All right, folks. I am back. Let's save it again. Wow. Like I said, I really don't want to abuse that, but man, like that's ludicrous that that damage spell does that much damage. So let's actually just abandon this quest because I don't even want to take a chance of accidentally getting it. I guess what we're going to need to do now, now that we know that's coming, is start looking at the apothecary for uh, basically for for like scrolls that buff the party to do uh, against resistances so that we can avoid that. So now I know, okay, those rat things do arcane. I need to get something that uh, will increase the uh, buff the party's arcane resist. I think there's, I think there's things that buff the entire party's resist. I think I have to check, but that we definitely have to buy some of those now. Uh, we cannot do any level fours again until we, we get some of those. Uh, the alchemists are looking for herbs and foliage in the nearby forest, but dangers lurks in every corner. Oh, this is... I think we've done this before. But I went ahead and did some more quests. I did pretty much the same things for the most part. Ooh. 319? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, these guys aren't on fire. Go ahead and attack him, actually. Uh, you know what? Just melee these guys. Whack! Yeah, almost. There we go. So, at least now we know to be careful about that. Holy cow. That was a huge spike, which I warned you before, like those, the jumps up in, like from difficulty levels, are pretty darn steep. So we did the foraging, we got physical damage resist flasks, which is good. Damage to bonus, or, uh, bonus ice damage. Fire resist. Eh, sure. I almost want to get the fire resist so that, you know, as we fight different enemies that are higher level that do insane amounts of damage, AE, we can resist it more, but that's not very much, so. Let's do one more turn. I will do two more so that I can do this quest up here. Go ahead and tell you to move up there. Let's go for quests in case there's actually one. Ah. 4,400 versus 1,200. I'll grab this quest. Who's this? Hildrick. I wouldn't mind getting Hildrick to re Revered. That's 50 free fame a week. I'm all about free fame and free money. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's, go, let's, let's prospect for more quests, because I want to try to get this guy doing quests as he heads this way. Go ahead and grab that one, I suppose. Actually, you know what? No. Then this. Grab this one. It's only level two, but whatever. If that would have been level two, it probably would not have been worth it. Because we're now two spots away from a city. Let's see. He can possibly heal, so we don't want that. I 
How much does it do? 819, so it should one shot. Most of these guys. <laughs> it's funny that he actually does a lot of melee damage as well. Like some of the highest we have. It's a bit ridiculous. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Well, it would have if you survived. Oh, you did survive. Oh, almost. God, I love dots. I wish there was a game where you could really, like, play dot classes realistically. Uh, inspiring the troops, we've done that one a few times. Nice, you got a level again. Arcane resist. Versus healing output. <laughs> On the same token, you really need to heal better. I forget what stat. I don't know if there is a stat that improves healing, honestly. But that free arcane resist is sounding pretty good now, so fuck it, let's pick that. 5% healing is pretty... 5% of not much healing is not much. Uh-oh. The half-wit halflings, eh? Sex of shit. Let me see you. And you were friendly. We were. They're just mad because they're about to get pushed out. In about two more weeks, I think. But uh, anyway, let's wrap it up there. Woof, boy, that was a rough episode. At least we can reload. At least it's not like a real roguelike where you can't reload. But like I said, like if I feel like I lost fairly fair and square, that's one thing. But having the entire party wiped by a single spell is a bit silly. But uh, anyway, let's wrap it up there. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks again to Gage for your continued support on Patreon. I very much appreciate it. Make sure you guys leave comments in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter and I will see you next time.